hyperbola we have discussed what is hyperbola and then we try to understand how do we derive this uh, equation and i gave you a glimpse of various elements of parabola we are going to see them in detail now hyperbola most of the thing are equivalent to ellipse this is the equation we have already derived even if you don't follow that derivation you have not watched it the important elements consist of vertices vertices because one is vertex and multiple is vertices so you see these two points actually we have made two cups these are two parabolas and this shape is called the hyperbola so when we have a when we bind it with axis coordinate axis we say x axis and y axis these two points where this curve intersect on the x axis or the y axis these two points are called as the vertices are called the vertices so we have this plus minus a comma 0 from here to here it's 2 a if you remember when we talked about ellipse so in ellipse we said that we have a coordinate axis from here to here that is the this is the major axis minor axis will also be there so this is the minor axis here we will uh, a, a bit change from here to here from a to a dash in this case a dash a if you see the rightmost figure i am talking about transverse and conjugate this a dash a is the transverse transverse axis and what is the length 2a from here to here uh, a on either side 2a when we make a perpendicular that is actually here we are talking about y axis and we mark a point which is of length b and b dash since c this is so let us mark it here also b and b dash this cb and cb dash these are going to be equal to b equal to b similar i'm just equating it with the ellipse in ellipse also we have minor axis semi minor axis so here we have 2b 2b a line which is perpendicular to transverse is called as conjugate conjugate axis i'll tell you why this it is called as conjugate in the later this just now so in every uh, hyperbolic parabolic or ellipse they will have a focus uh, in physics terms whenever a light from infinity is coming it is going to converge at the focus so this focus there are two fo focus foci i proved it in the previous discussion that this point focus if the 0 0 is the center this focus f1 or and there are two focus actually so the focus because it is two i call it as foci or foci there are two of them so that is why we if we want to point out the coordinate it's c comma 0 but c i prove it to be ae ae comma 0 similarly on the left side it will be minus ae comma 0 so let us combine them plus minus ae comma 0 and now coming to the directrix directrix now if you remember directrix any point you take any point you take the distance of this point from the directrix from the directrix at any point distance of this point from the directrix at same point distance with the the focus the ratio is going to be eccentricity so this directrix we proved it in the earlier discussion it to be a by e that is it is a by e far away from the center or y axis so the equation of directrix will be plus minus ae comma 0 i am taking either side together combine they are combining them there is one more thing center uh, right now it's 0 0 but it will be hk uh, when we see the questions eccentricity how do we find out the eccentricity of hyperbola eccentricity eccentricity represented by e 
See, this equation is in front of you. x square by a square minus y square by b square equals 1. And in this equation, I told you when I actually derived this equation, I told you b square equals a square e square minus 1, if you remember. So if we, if we are interested in e square, what are we going to do? e square will be, you take a square in the denominator for b square. So e square minus 1 will be equal to b square by a square, e square minus 1. And then e squared will be 1 plus b square by a square. And e square, you don't have to do this, I'm just doing it. But e square will be equal to, and this b by b square by a square, I'm taking it. Let us multiply 4 in the numerator, 4 in the denominator. That is, b square by a square, multiply it by 4, denominator also by 4. So now you can, you get 4b square by 4a square. Now you can write it as 2b whole square and 2b, 2a whole square. This 2b is what? As I just suggested, 2b is the, the conjugate axis by the 2a's transverse axis. So under root 1 plus ca square, ta square is the eccentricity. 1 plus conjugate axis whole square divided by transverse axis whole square. Now coming to a very important question wise, it's latest rectum. Latest rectum. We have talked about this in the ellipse also. Any line which is passing through the focus and parallel to the y axis in this case. In this case. So if I make a line, this line is latest rectum, and the length of this, this uh, line is the length of the latest rectum. So you already have a formula. What? How to find out this point? From center or origin to this, we know that x coordinate is what? AE, because I'm talking about focus at this point, this line is pass, passing through focus. A, I don't know the y axis, uh, y point. So let us say it is SL in, uh, with respect to this figure. So I have x coordinate as AE and SL is the y point. But I know that this point is, uh, is uh, passing or is is in on the hyperbola so i can just put it here in the place of x and y a whole square by a square minus sl whole square by b square equals one so we have sl square equals just i'm rearranging it s square equals b square e square minus one when we have e square minus one we know that b square minus one can be written as b square by a square i can always write that so in place of e square minus 1, I am replacing the, it with the b square by a square. Okay. After rearranging, whatever I got, I am writing b square by a, b square by a square here. So this becomes b to the power 4, b raised 4 by a square. Okay. Now in order to find out this sl, which is the y-axis coordinate of the point we have taken, it will be under root, so b square by a. So the distance of uh, from the fo focus to the point of intersection on the parabola is b square by a. Similarly, in the lower part, it's b square by a. So you add them or multiply it by 2, you will get 2b square by a. This is the latest rectum. Same is for ellipse, same is for the hyperbola also. Now, one more thing I would like to uh, find it here is focal distances. What are the focal distances? Take any point, take any point on the parabola, the distance of this point from the two focus or four side is the focal distance, is the focal distance. If I take any point P, you have S and S dash. So if you just keep it this mind because I'm going to uh, give you the final, final result. So this distance is say you have S dash P, assume it to be D1. The distance d2 which is sp, sp is sp, that is d1 minus d2. And I told you earlier, if you followed me, that the difference of distance of this point from the two foci it will always be a constant and that is the definition of a hyperbola and that is equal to 2a. That is equal to 2a. So this direct, uh, direct expression you are going to use in the question. This is actually equal to transverse axis. Now, let me take you to the conjugate uh, parabola. 
which is a kind of vertical ellipse uh, equivalent. So this conjugate means what? Let me take you back to, to complex numbers. If you remember a plus ib, this a plus ib, what is the conjugate of a plus ib? If you remember, it's a minus ib. The conjugate of a plus ib is a minus b. Same concept we can apply it here. We have the equation x square by a square minus y square by b square equals 1. And this is for the horizontal or transverse hyperbola. Transverse hyperbola. What is the conjugate? Multiply it by minus. Multiply it with a negative. So what do you get? x square minus x square by a square plus y square by b square equals 1. Now just change the places. y square by b square minus x square by a square equals 1. And this is the equation of the conjugate hyperbola. Conjugate hyperbola. So you have x square by a square minus y square by b square. You keep a square b square where they are. Just replace x square and y square. You are going to get the equation of the conjugate hyperbola. Let me tell you the eccentricity is somewhat changed here. a square equals b square e squared minus 1. What is the latest term? It's not 2b square by a. It's 2a square by b. It's not 2b square by a. It's 2a square by b. So there are two changes which, are, which need to be emphasized here. Eccentricity and later rectum for the horizontal or conjugate hyperbola. Other things I already told you when we discussed earlier, like uh, the vertices here is again 0, comma plus minus a because it is on the y-axis. So x remains 0, y is plus minus a. How about the focus or foci? It's 0, comma plus minus a e, a e. Okay. And eccentricity, I already told you, latest rectum we have done. And this is the equation you need to keep in your mind. One more thing, just one, that if it is not center, 0, 0. How about uh, an ellipse with not this, uh, not having the center at 0, 0. Then it is some hk, some point which is not 0, 0. How are you going to write the equation x minus h whole square? x minus h whole square by a square minus y minus b whole y minus k whole square by b square equals 1. This is all about the hyperbola. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.